Prissy Fire. Let's first see what is same same on the Domina 400 and the Speed 400. Firstly, both these motorcycles are made by Bajaj. Both cost about 2.3 lakh egg showroom. Both make 40 horsepower. Both have 400 in their names. 89 mm bore, same tyre sizes and 13 litre fuel tanks. Bus, that is it. If you want to start counting stuff like liquid cool, 4 valve, 4 stroke, single cylinder, DOHC, it's like saying 99.9% uh, .9 of all humans share their DNA, so we are all the same. But we are not the same. And these two are as different as Spider-Man and Venom. Let's start with the engine because this is where a lot of you are confused. And I know it says 400 on the can, but these two are very different. So it's 373cc on the Dominar, 398cc on the Triumph. But aside from that also, these two are completely different engines. Eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed that the bore figure is the same. But there's a very good reason for that. And the reason is that unless you have endless pools of cash or unlimited development time, it saves engineers both time and money to start with a bore figure that they've already worked with. But aside from that, these are completely different. And you get a clue for this by looking at the sprockets. The sprockets are on different sides of the motorcycles, suggesting completely different gearboxes. These engines also have different stroke lengths, different internals, but most importantly for you as a rider, they're also very different in their characteristics. The Domino's weight puts a leash on those 40 horses, but when you wring its neck and rev it out, it does get a move on. This doesn't feel like a slow motorcycle by any means. It doesn't feel like the most refined either, with quite noticeable vibes coming in at higher RPMs. I do like the low-end tractability of the Domi, but the Triumph isn't just a lot more refined. It also has more torque at lower RPMs with a stronger mid-range. And because the speed is a whole lot lighter, when you're gunning it, it also feels faster. Okay, so now we know they perform differently, but do they sound different? Keep your ears open. I'm going to let the exhaust talk here. And since this is not IBW, we're going to keep the revs a little mellow. Time for the Dominar. Okay, do they sound similar? Do they not sound similar? That's, I think, for you to decide. Now, while you decide that, let me tell you how these two bikes handle. At low speeds, both bikes tend to feel a little front heavy, but on the Triumph, that feeling quickly changes once you start to pick up speed. The Triumph feels nimble and light-footed in the city, agile for the corners and fairly stable on the highway. The only shortcoming is that the rear tends to react a little too fast through a series of bumps. Now, it's important to know that the Dominar has a longer wheelbase and the latest Dominar with its touring accessories is about 20 kgs heavier than the speed. If you have a friend who's trying to lose some weight, you can ask them and they will confirm that 20 kgs is a lot. You can feel that extra weight and the plumper dimensions right from the moment you pick the Dominar up off the stand. It just takes that much more effort. When you start to ride in the city, the front end of the Dominar just feels heavy as if you were riding a much bigger motorcycle, which you're really not. Then when you do pick up some speed, things start to get better until you start to attack some corners where, again, the Domina just takes more muscling in to get it leaned over. And then when it is leaned over, it's just a little more hesitant to turn. Now, this is not really a negative for the Domina. It's just the characteristic of the motorcycle. While this is light, agile and nimble, this is more relaxed in nature. And you might prefer a motorcycle that's more relaxed in nature. And then you might also prefer the more relaxed riding position of the Dominar. Both these motorcycles have fairly good ride quality. But in my experience, the Speed 400 feels a bit softer and better suited for city speeds. While the Dominar's slightly firmer setup trades low speed comfort for more confidence on the highway. Now we borrowed that Dominar from a friend and he's made the right choice of switching to the Apollo H1 Alphas, the same tyre that's on the Triumph. So there's no major difference 
in terms of the grip levels. There is a difference in terms of the braking performance though. Now when we first rode the Speed 400, one of our few complaints about that motorcycle were the brakes. They just lack that strong initial bite that we want from a fast motorcycle. Of course, that's the same case here as well. However, the lever does have good progression and then when you really start to squeeze it, the Triumph does come to a halt fairly quickly. The Dominar on the other hand has actually a slightly better initial bite but then the progression is just not there. When you want to stop quickly in an emergency situation, for example, the Dominar's brakes, they just feel like they're struggling to bring that much mass to a halt. I must point out that the Dominar we're riding has done 24,000 kilometers versus the speed has done only 2,000 kilometers. So some of the difference in the braking performance could be down to just plain and simple wear and tear. But I still suspect that a brand new Dominar versus a brand new speed in terms of braking, it's the speed that will come to a stop much quicker mainly down to the difference in the weights. Now, before we get to the price, in terms of servicing, the Triumph has a 16,000 km service interval versus the Domina's 10,000 km interval. However, both bikes still have a service interval time of a year, so there's not a night and day difference there unless you tend to put above average miles on your bike in short amounts of time. The Speed 400 cost to be 2.33 lakh and the Domina cost to be 2.29 lakh, so there's not a huge difference there. But what you get for that money is so different. With the Domina, you get a comfortable but also a slightly lazy motorcycle that feels its best on the highway. With the speed, not only do you get much better quality, you also have a lighter, more athletic motorcycle that handles better, goes quicker, and I know looks can be subjective, but to my eyes, it's also the nicer looking of the two. I don't mean to bash the Dominar here, it's honestly a really good motorcycle and I've had a lot of fun riding it today. It's got good performance, good highway stability, it's tried and tested and there's a Bajaj dealership around pretty much every corner. But the speed, the speed is a motorcycle that excites me on a completely different level and honestly it checks every objective box I would use to pick a motorcycle and that's why of the two, this is my pick. If you are interested in either of these two motorcycles, take a test ride before you buy and get something that you 